Today we're looking at whether the hard disk drive is still worth being used in your desktop or laptop computer. After all, today we have SSDs that we can use instead. So has the hard drive finally had its day? Well there's no doubt that SSDs are faster than hard drives. So let's compare the speeds of these drives. A typical hard drive today, one that would be used in a desktop computer, such as this 3.5 inch 6TB hard drive by Seagate, is capable of read and write speeds at 185 megabytes a second. Or this 3.5 inch 6TB hard drive by Western Digital, which can perform read and write speeds of up to 229 megabytes a second. And this 2.5 inch 5TB laptop hard drive by Seagate can transfer data up to 140 megabytes a second. So these are some of the typical speeds that you will get from hard drives today. So how fast are 2.5 inch SSDs? Well this 1TB SSD by Crucial has a read speed of up to 540 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 500. Or a little faster, this 1TB SSD by Samsung has a read speed of up to 560 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 530. So as you can see, 2.5 inch SSDs are generally much faster than hard drives and will often be at least 2 or 3 times faster. So what about NVMe SSDs? How fast are they? Well, this partly depends on which generation they belong to. For example, this 3rd gen NVMe SSD, 1TB drive by Crucial, has a read speed of up to 3500 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 3000. And let's take a look at this 4th gen NVMe SSD by Western Digital. This is a 1TB drive that has a read speed of up to 7300 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 6300. And what about this 5th gen NVMe SSD? This is a 1TB drive by Crucial, the T700, which has a read speed of up to 11,700 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 9,500. So NVMe SSDs can be many times faster than hard drives. Hard drives don't come anywhere near the speeds of the very fast SSDs. So that's one point for the solid state drives. Another downside to the hard drives is that they do make a little bit of noise due to their moving parts inside the hard drive casing. To be fair to hard drives, they don't seem to be as loud as they used to be. I'm sure they've made them quieter over the years. But if you want no noise at all, then SSDs are the answer as they have no moving parts and are completely silent. So that's another point for SSDs. Another downside to the hard drives is that they're quite a bit heavier than the SSDs. One or two of these inside a desktop computer will make it quite a bit heavier than having one or two of these inside a desktop computer. These are the approximate weights of how heavy each type of drive can be, but these are just ballpark figures. So laptops will weigh a little less with an SSD inside them making them just that little bit easier to carry or move around. Desktop computers can already be quite heavy, so the less weight added to them, the better. So because SSDs weigh less, it's another win for SSDs. For the next point, hard drives are quite fragile, whereas SSDs are much better at continuing to work, even when they've received the odd bump or two. This makes them more suitable for being used in laptops, as a laptop is more likely to be moved around from time to time, and they might get a little bumped about now and then. So because SSDs are more robust, another point goes to SSDs. And then there's the cables that are needed for hard drives inside desktop computers. They need a data cable and a power cable as well but NVMe SSDs can be plugged into the motherboard without the use of cables, which gives a cleaner look to a desktop computer. The 2.5 inch SSDs also need 
two cables to work inside a desktop computer but the two and a half inch SSDs are smaller than the hard drives so they take up less space. So we're going to give SSDs another point. So I'm going to give one more advantage of SSDs before we move on to hard drives. So SSDs can typically work at higher and lower temperatures. For example, hard drives can often work between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius at the low end and up to 50 to 65 Celsius at the high end, whereas SSDs can normally operate between 0 Celsius and up to 70 to 85 Celsius. The actual temperature a drive can withstand will depend on the make and model of the drive, but typically SSDs have a little more room for temperature tolerance. So that's one more point for SSDs. So what about the advantages of hard drives? Well, there are two main advantages. The first is that they can store much more data on them compared to SSDs. For example, here's one of the largest two and a half inch SSDs you can buy for a home computer today at the time of this recording. It can hold eight terabytes of data but this is one of the largest hard drives available. It can hold 22 terabytes of data. That's almost three times more storage than an SSD can currently hold. So that's one point for hard drives. And then there's the price of the SSDs and hard drives. So let's start by looking at these one terabyte drives. This one terabyte two and a half inch SSD cost about 54 pounds or this one terabyte fourth gen NVMe SSD is about £44, or this three and a half inch one terabyte hard drive costs around £46. So the price gap between these one terabyte drives isn't so big. But as you start looking at drives with more storage space, the price gap starts to widen. For example, going up to a four terabyte drive, a two and a half inch SSD can cost around £200. A third gen NVMe SSD can cost around £170. A fourth gen NVMe about £190. And a fifth gen NVMe could cost around £560. But a three and a half inch four terabyte hard drive will only cost about £75. Or a little over £100 for a two and a half inch hard drive. So as you can see, when we put them in price order, there's a large gap between the cheapest drive and the most expensive. And have a look at this price gap. This fourth gen NVMe SSD 8 terabyte drive cost a little over a thousand pounds, but a three and a half inch eight terabyte hard drive will only cost around 125. All the prices I've talked about in this video are the prices I found at the time of this recording, but prices are always changing, and some of the drives I've shown here were in the sale, so that's something to keep in mind. My main point is that hard drives are often cheaper to buy, so the final scores are hard drives 2, SSD 6. I think it makes a lot of sense to use an SSD in a laptop, as SSDs allow laptops to be lighter, thinner, and SSDs are more durable too. But for desktop computers, it's a good idea to have an SSD as the computer's main drive, either a two and a half inch or an NVMe drive, to keep the computer faster and more responsive. But it can be a good idea to have a hard drive as a second drive, where you can back up your SSD, store your videos and photos, and anything else you want to put on it. And as for speed, this doesn't always matter. The latest hard drives are easily fast enough for storing and watching movies, recording CCTV, storing and playing your music collection, and backing up your data. Because hard drives can be much cheaper, many people still use them, so they'll probably be around for quite some time to come. If you'd like to see how fast a computer is, with an NVMe SSD drive installed compared to a computer that has a hard drive as its main drive, then click on the video that's right next to me now. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.